This 9mm semi-automatic handgun that I, I have here is what we consider single action, double action. Okay. Now, as in my previous series with the 40 caliber, that was double action only, which meant the initial trigger pull was approximately 12 pounds of pressure in order to depress the trigger to make the weapon fire. This firearm, the original, the initial fire, the, the, the initial trigger pull is difficult, it's long. Uh, I would say anywhere between uh, 10 and 12 uh, pounds of pressure for the trigger. That would be double action, okay? Single action comes after that first 12 pound or 10 pound trigger pull and the weapon fires and it recycles. Every trigger pull thereafter is approximately half of what the first initial trigger pull was. So therefore we have the uh, uh, double action and the single action. Single meaning the, after you fire, the hammer stays to the rear and all you have to do is give approximately half of whatever the trigger pull was originally. So if this was a 10 pound trigger pull originally, I'm looking at five pounds of pressure to depress this trigger and make the, the weapon fire. Some advantages to the single action uh, is you can fire in rapid succession. The rounds come off a little bit faster because there's less of a of a, a lead time to get the trigger all the way to the rear fully depressed. Uh, there's some, you know, uh, departments out there, whether it be law enforcement or military, that maybe don't agree with that. Uh, but again, I think the theory of that was to make the rounds accessible should have a person get into a situation where they need it to make it accessible as fast as they could while making uh, while taking uh, well-placed shots so single action would be half uh, as you were yeah single action would be half of the trigger pull so again if this was a 10 pound trigger pull the first round would be a 10 pound trigger pull and after that it would be approximately half of that 